The Giants dropped the Celebration, we got Alaska going up against the Red Bull side. Ito nga nabanggit ko yung nangyari nung Wednesday dito. Nawawala na naman yung partner ko. Ewan ko, busy yata. Naliligaw pa na naman. Dapat kasama ko si Paolo Trillo, pero medyo palagi pagkaumpisa, hindi ko malaman kung nasan siya nagpupunta. Ewan ko, kung nakita nyo, sabihin nyo sa akin. Teka, Chiki, Chiki! Ayan na, ayan na. Hindi kita iniwanan, no? Papunta na sana ako dyan. Pero duman muna ako dito. Nangangamusta muna ako dito sa mga sexy bulls Nako. ng batang Red Bull. Tinan mo na sinasabi ko. Kasasabi ko lang, napanood nyo ba si Paolo at saka si Janelle nung Wednesday? Pa-flowers, flowers ka pa dyan, Paolo? Babae na naman ang kasama mo? Hindi, hindi, Chiki. Kasi papunta na sana ako dyan. Pero kakaiba talaga itong depensa ng mga batang Red Bull girls, yung mga sexy bulls. Kaya, panoonan nyo na muna itong uh, Tondros D ng Batang Red Bull. <laughs> Hindi naging maganda ang simula ng Red Bull sa 2001 season ng PBA. Unang laro nila kontra Pop Cola. Natalo sila. Pero kung tutusin, maganda naman kasi ang nilaro ng Panthers. Kay head coach Yeng Giao na mismo nang galing, pagdating sa talento, wala nang itulak kabig ang kanyang kupunan. Teamwork at maturity na lamang ang kailangan, lalo na sa endgame. Sa kanilang dalawang sumunod na laro kontra Shell at Mobiline, nandun pa rin ang pangkahilaw at panggigigil, lalo na sa katauhan ng number one draft pick na si Willie Miller at sa pinakabatang player sa PBA ngayon na si Kirby Raimundo. Pero gayon pa man, nakuha pa rin mamayani ng tropa ni Coach Yang. Ang dahilan, ang kanilang walang kasing higpit na depensa. Mula sa intimidation at shot blocks ni Mick Pinisi, sa intensity at gayod ni Davon Harp sa ilalim, at sa hustle at all-out suporta ni na Miller at ng iba pang Thunder, namayani ang depensa sa panalo nila kontra sa turbochargers at bullpups. Kaya huwag na kayong magtaka kung nasa upper half ng team standings ang Red Bull sa ngayon. Depensa po nila ang pinakadahilan. E ano pa kung pati opensa nila ay umandar na rin. Red Bull Thunder, nakakabingi po ang depensa. Defense with a capital D. Nako, Chiki, hindi na ako nagtataka. Alam ko na kung saan nila ako kukuha yung training nila sa depensa. O, Chiki, papasok ko na sa'yo. Nako ha, sige, daanin mo pa sa depensa ko, no? Ayan, nakikita nga natin yung mga sexy bulls. Si Vale, follow okay ka lang sa'kin. Sa Kasi may explanation, no? Ako dun sa kaibigan ko, naghihintay doon. Magaling nga ang depensa ng uh, mga sexy bulls. We'll take a break nang makapahinga ng konti si Paolo Trillo. Pagbabalik namin, mag-umpisa na po kasama ang ating panel. Maybe for 1998 sa pagpapasimula ng All-Filipino Conference. Lalong-lalo na sa taon after winning the All-Filipino Crown. In 1997, they had started the 2-3. and three. In 1999, it was 0-3. and three. Well, this year is no exception and this year is different. Dahil wala na ang Winyo Abarietos at saka ang Lastimosa. Instead, it's a new team. And today, they meet an energized Red Bull Thunder in our first game sa Bayan ng Superstars. And hello and welcome everyone sa inyong Bayan ng Superstars. Ang ating main, ang first game po natin, Alaska Aces laban sa Red Bull Thunder. And of course, ang aking mga kasama today, si Kinito Henson. At Kinito, alam mo, this is a different Alaska team. Obviously, it's a different, uh, there are a lot of new faces here. And they're going up against an energized Red Bull Thunder team. Both teams coming to this uh, game with in different uh, fashion. Dalawang sunod na talo ang Alaska, dalawang sunod na panalo naman ang Red Bull. 2-1 on record ang Red Bull and 1-2 on record ang Alaska. No? So, contrasting records here. Patama ang sinabi mo, partner, as we take a look at our team standings. San Miguel still on top of the roost. But Red Bull, as we mentioned, 2 and one Alaska and 1-2. and two. At nasabi mo kanina, partner, yung pagbabago dito sa Alaska, yes, six new faces dotting the roster of the Alaska Aces. And for Red Bull, actually, they have also brought in some newcomers. They have four newcomers as far as Red Bull is concerned. Pero included in those uh, newcomers of the Thunder, partner, would be veterans uh, si um, Al Solis. Lowell Briones also has also played in the PBA before going back to uh, the PBA from the NBA. Ang kapula pala dito, kinito so far, ay ang opensa ng Alaska na tila nawawala in their first three games, lalong na, lalo, lalo na in their last two losses, kung saan ang Alaska just struggled in offense. And if you look at the numbers of this team, medyo the Alaska offense is certainly going to be off. Well, Nolly, maganda talaga ang pasimula ng Alaska. No? First game nila, 91 points. But in the last two games, an average output nila has gone down to 66. In fact, in their last game, um, they were held to only 55 points. 
Ang output ni Ali Peak Partner has been rather inconsistent. First two games, he shot 25 points in each of those two games. But in game number three, ng Alaska, when they were held down to 55 points, Ali Peak was limited to just 11. The Man Mountain has been leading the league in scoring, but as Kirita said, he has been struggling at least in that last game kung saan natalo muli ang Alaska. Si Tim Cohn had something to say about where the Alaska offense has gone. That we would have to have an adjustment period. We knew that the players were going to struggle with it. Um, in the beginning, we did well because uh, they didn't know what they were doing. They just went out and played. And uh, now, it's, you know, the demands on them are more. You know, they have to reach out a little bit harder and understand the triangle more, and that just confuses them a little bit. So you, you go through these, these different levels. Uh, we're trying to jump to a new level and understanding the triangle. And then when you make that jump, there's some early frustration. And, and uh, so it, it's a natural progression. And like I said, I, I'm, we're just not ready to panic. And certainly, there's no need to panic when you have a Kenneth Durand still on the lineup brought Rodney Santos, of course, Ali Peak. But of course, when you lose a Johnny Abarientos, your numbers and turnovers will also go up, uh, Kinito, and exactly. I think you've noticed that. Well, Alaska is leading the league now in turnovers with 20 a game, and they're tied for fourth in assists, whereas last season, alam naman natin itong Alaska was number one in assists. Now, talk about the problem of assists dito sa Alaska. Partner, we've got to understand that Kenny Durendes was a big assist yes. man for Alaska dati. Now, he's being asked not to pass, but he's being asked to score. No? Durendes is definitely the scoring leader of this team. Ali Peak has been averaging 20 points. No? He has taken charge in terms of being the number one scorer, but I think the leader in terms of point making should be this man, Captain Marbel. Of course, hindi lamang po ang problema ng Alaska magiging ganda ng opensa, kung hindi ang depensa ang ipinapakita ng batang Red Bull Thunder. They have just been awesome, hindi lamang sa labas, but more importantly, inside, where they have Pinisi and Devon Harp, and the numbers in their last two wins, two wins will also show kinito kung bakit pambihira ang pinapakita ng depensa ng Ta Thunder. Talagang pambihira, partner, because in the last two games, kung saan sila um, kung saan nila tinalo yung Shell at uh, Mo uh, Moby Line, itong kanilang uh, average points again, 64 points, no? And uh, really great uh, figures in terms of uh, Red Bull's defense, no? Now, matetesting natin yan dito ka sa Alaska because Alaska's two losses, they averaged only 66 points in those two losses, no? And uh, as you notice, itong Red Bull is allowing only 64 points a game when they won. So, Big question is, will Alaska score more than 64 in this game? Will Alaska even score more than 70? Palagay ko, that is something that we will key on sa ating uh, trend watch. No? I would think that Alaska must score more than 70 to make a difference in this game. Alam mo yun ang kasarapan kapag uh, hindi masyado binubutinting ang lineup. And we talk about lineups, well, we've got to talk about the marquee matchup that will happen today. This will be a titanic and epic battle in the middle. Ali Peak versus Von Harp, and look at their numbers. So awesome. Mabigat dito, partner, yung uh, assist ni Davon Harp and the lack of assist of Ali Peak. No? Kung makikita natin, Peak is averaging only one assist a game as against Harp's four. We know that Ali Peak is getting doubled um, at the low post no? because he's averaging so much, you really need to double him. 20.3 points a game. But the fact that he's not passing the ball w good enough not to be able to find the open man and getting his assist totals up means that, well, that is an area of his game that he needs to improve on. Yung kanyang passing, yung kanyang assisting, especially from the low post when he's doubled. What is interesting today is this is the matchup between the defending champion last year, Nanalo ng Corona ng Filipino Conference, against the team that ended last. But today, Red Bull is certainly nowhere near the bottom. And well, maghahanda po tayo sa ating bakbakan dito sa Phil Sports Arena. Alaska Aces versus the Batang Red Bull Thunder sa ilang sandali. Off, yung pong ating quick tight starting fire brought to you by quick tight the all-in-one glue technology by lock tight well again. the interesting surprise dito sa ating mga starting cast part that is in the alaska starting cast because kahol who didn't play in the last game eh, siya naman ang start dito in place of uh, eric reyes who started in the last game of alaska that's right at uh, palagay ko ito si coach uh, tim com is looking for well additional scoring sack and uh, the athleticism ni uh, Ryan Gahol in trying to break that two-game winning streak. But for Alaska fans, uh, masabang noli, this is not bad news. Ang kanilang pasimula na one and two because as you mentioned also in our pre-game, ganun din ang uh, pasimula ng Alaska in the All-Filipino last conference, mm -hmm. also one and two. Mm -hmm. But what happened? Actually, they went, they started at two and three, then won the next six games straight before winning ten of their last 
of their next 11. And, well, what happened? They won the championship. They went on to win the All-Filipino Crown in an 18-6 record last year. They had the second highest winning percentage all season long last year. And, of course, uh, Batang Red Bull Thunderman finished 10th in the uh, All-Filipino Conference. Uh, no isang taon, 3 and 11 record ng kanila. They finished with a 42% winning percentage no 2000 season. Well, today, it's a different story. Of course, ang Batang Red Bull Thunder trying to get their third straight win and climb up the team standings. Going to be half a game behind the league-leading San Miguel Pier team. Samantalang ang Alaska Aces naghahanap lamang na may tabla ang kanilang record. Unang hawak ng bola sa panig ng mga nakapula. Alaska Aces laban sa mga nakaputing Batang Red Bull Thunder. It was a uh, matchup partner, and I'm sure that we're going to have Valenzuela and Durantes. Because that is a matchup that Coach uh, Gengia would like to favor Red Bull, but because of the defense of uh, Valenzuela. Yes. Incidentally, in some friend watched the partner, but we're going to have a scoring in uh, Santos and Durantes. Now, last season, they averaged combined close to 30 points a game. This season, they're averaging in the low 20s. And I would think for Alaska to have a good shot of winning this game. They've got to score a combined at least 25. Well, considering uh, ang offensive prowess to the two, eh, dapat makuha nila yun, no? But again, so far they have been bottled up. Lalong lalo na si Rodney Santos. He has really struggled early on in this uh, All-Filipino Conference. Dahil nga, iba na kanyang pwesto nila laro kinito. Eh. Exactly. He's had to pass rather than shoot. Uh, think more of a guard, a point guard, rather than a guy who would put on, put on the points. At the same time, Parker, nakikita natin itong Ali Pick has emerged to be the number one scorer for Alaska. A role that I think uh, should be Kenneth Torrentes' role. And I think Torrentes and Santos should take up the cudgels in scoring rather than Ali Pick get a uh, to become the number one option, tapos everything will flow from him. Dapat siguro magsimula kina Durendes at saka Santos at makakalos suit na lang ito si Aliki. Bukang yun ang ginagawa nila. Durendes has already taken two attempts here, missing both, but all missing a jump shot, an open shot, and ang Alaska wala pa rin puntos. Red Bull drawing first blood dito sa laban na to. Importante dito for Alaska partner to hit the outside shot because yes. alagawa natin matindi ang interior defense ng Red Bull. And if you look at the numbers of Alaska in their first two games, they have Average 44% from the field. However, only 21% from three-point range. Atang Red Bull, starting with their regular starting five. All five players have started all three games para sa Thunder. And there's the first foul. Nimic Pinis is a rebound ni Brian Dehol. One guy who has certainly uh, stepped up dito sa pasimula ng ating 2001 season. Kinita has been Junthi Valenzuela. He has become the primary stopper ni Coach Yang Giao sa mga offensive scorers ng kabilang uh, teams. Exactly, partner. Though, yun ang punta sinabi natin kanina. No? Ito, makikita natin. Ginit ko tayo sa hanin si Durandes. Well, all, another much improved player on the Red Bull uh, uh, cast partner is his uh, Nick Pinisi. No? Yes. Ang dami ng galaw ngayon. Not only is he a good uh, outside shooter, but he's developed a nice no post to this one. This is an excellent pass. Gonna land to Nick Pinisi with his first shot. Oh, and there's Ali Pink. Come on, Tabling. Ang itinawa kay Ali Pink. So Nick Pinisi with a super Volkasil Tapal. He is just an excellent shot blocker. Pambihira ang kanyang timing. And with his long arms, it just complements his defensive game. Nick Pinisi is averaging from the shot blocks department three blocks a game. Unbelievable. At ang ganda na combination niya with uh, Devon Hart. He will go up to block the shot. And when he comes down, if the rebound is loose, then it will be Devon Hart who will pick it up. Air ball thrown by Agustin. Tatlong minuto na po nakakaraan dito sa ating first quarter. Wala pang puntos ang Alaska. At dalawang kapang ang uh, Red Bull. And finally, Ali Peak powers himself to the hole. And there's a end one play coming to the mountain. Ali Peak. Second team foul for the Thunder. Si Pinisi and Natuang on a foul. Let's watch this play again. Excellent pass inside. Ali Peak with a short stab and it's almost impossible to stop him from that range. For ating uh, slow-mo hatid sa atin ng PLDT for only 40 cents a minute. Call any country, anytime on any phone with PLDT IDT. At yung puntos na kuha ni Ali Peak at lamang na po ang Alaska ng isa 3-2. to Dapat hindi magtagal yung uh, offense ng Alaska for Ali Peak to get his shots to get off against the bigger defenders. Yes. <laughs> That will not drop for him. Pero makakuha siya ng foul mula kay Kenneth Durendes, it seems. 
will quickly acknowledges the foul. That is number one, Captain Marvel, sending Von Harp to the free throw line. Ito na sa napapansin natin, ito si Devon Hop has been very aggressive, very active in attacking the defense of Ali Pick, no? which I think is the right strategy on the part of Coach Yang Giao. No? Primary scorer ng Alaska ito si Ali Pick. He is the big force inside and Harp with a big height advantage over Ali Pick no? should be able to score against him if he gets the position. One out of two from the line si Devon Harp, but impressive numbers. Over 14 points a game, over 13 rebounds from Bihira. Those are MVP numbers. In the meantime, backdoor play. Sumabog sa mukha ng Alaska, pero may pito si referee De Jos. And this one will go against... Oh no. Wala. Puling hawak lang yata mula sa factor. Valenzuela sticking to Torrendes like Velcro. Torrendes, there's the whistle. Kenneth Durandis has averaged about a little over 13 points a game. And he is only shooting 4.9% from the field uh, and only 10% from three-point range, Kinito. That's a big uh, well That's a big drop. Oh, that's a big drop, I think. But the average close to 17 last season with uh, exceptional percentages from the field and from three-point range last year. No? But last year, because he was uh, being set up, no? This year, I think he's being asked to score, no? A lot more. That's true, of course, yeah, Ali Pick. May pressure sa kanya ngayon, eh. Oh, eh, nawala na yung kanya mga partner, eh. Tsaka, ang problema pa niya, siguro, hindi siya nakakuha ng kagaya ng mga pasang nabibigay sa kanya dati, eh. Ni Johnny Abarientos as he slashes to the lane or cuts without the ball. Iba yung, ano, eh, yung samahan nila. Of course, magkakaamuyan yan eventually, oh, sabi nga ni well, Tim Cohn. Torrendes is the main beneficiary of the triangle offense mm. ng Alaska last year. No? At, uh, sa nakikita natin so far, no? uh, this conference, the triangle offense ng Alaska, they still try to work that pitching catch up. That was uh, a good execution of the triangle with Ali Peak finding the open Kenneth Torrendes. Si Torrendes kasi is such a factor when he's moving without the ball. Para makakulit ng ball, ah. Tapos, uh, getting a good look, he thrives in the triangle offense, and something that uh, Alaska is still working on. Right? Another defensive stop mula sa Aces, tumatakbo si Ali Pick, medyo naputawan tayo, kanyang pagtaktak. Tumama sa likod ng ring, and that will bounce off. Well, Devon Harp was there to yes. intimidate the dunk. Watch That's it the again. Reason. That's the reason. And ando si Devon Harp. He had to extend a little more para kay Ali Pick, and just couldn't put it down. Among Alaska and Dalawa 7 to 5, a slow start for these two teams. Here's Von Harp against Ali. He's underneath, kicks it out, Agustin. Corner pocket, bang. The Atom Bomb exploding with his first two points of the game. At tabla muli tayo, sa pito, 7 all. Interesting that these two teams are. Trying to, well, one is trying to snap a streak, the other trying to continue it. And there's Walkvist, a favorite Walkvist. shot from the side to James Walkvist, who averages about 26 minutes a game, averaging six points a game, gets his first two points. Makakatulong niya, partner, no? If Walkvist gets his touch from that outside, he'll draw the big man out with him. That's true. Lalo lalo na kung si Mick Pinisi, eh, shot blocker yan. Pinisi in the corner. Four seconds to shoot. Pinisi goes up. Family. Quickly, Coach Tim Cohn up on his feet. Well, he must have liked that part, that the defensive uh, movement ng Alaska. Nakita natin, no? No open shot for Red Bull in the perimeter. I think aware that ng Alaska, ito si Edmund Reyes, na nakahawak ng bola in that offensive uh, uh, set. Has a good three-point shot. Mm. Alam mo, siguro ito, isang factor dyan, mamaya yung bench ng dalawang kumpunan. Alam natin kung gaano kalalim ang batang Red Bull Thunder. We've seen that, how their bench has contributed. Alaska is still looking for a major contributor. Of course, John Arrigo is there, the top rookie ng uh, kumpunan ng Alaska. William Miller, of course, the number one pick, will go up against uh, John Arrigo today. And that should be an interesting story in, as well in the game. In the meantime, Borendis getting a basket from close range. Nice spacing that time, partner, because na double teaming na sa labas, and Durendas had a nice space to be able to put up that shot. Valenzuela with the left hand, missing it. Walkis picks up the rebound. And he's able to get it out. Narcos to Durendas. 
David and Ali P. He fakes, he goes up, and that's the basket. Ali P, who even led the league in uh, field goal percentage in his first three games. This guy shot uh, missed only about four or five attempts in his first two games. He was shooting about 86% prior to his last game. Big now with a total of seven. And Alaska with a six-point lead and a bad pass here by Edmund Reyes. At Maaga, papasok tayo sa ating first mandatory timeout. Alaska on top by six early in this ballgame. Sakit ng katawan, doble bisa, doble galing. Muli po isang magandang-magandang hapon sa inyo lahat mga kaibigan. Welcome sa inyong bayan ng superstars. Noli Iyala po kasama si Kinito Henson, Tora Tora Torion. And only look and watch. Wala na yata sling si Tora Tora, no? Wala nga, kasama niya yung trainer ng Red Bull, no? Oh, that's a good development. Mukhang maganda ang recovery ni Jimuel. Sana nga, napapilis ang kanyang pagbalik. Sarantana. Walkvis has done a magnificent job sa offensive glass. That's about his second offensive rebound here. May foul. Mauubusan na ng oras sa shot clock. Eh, nagkaroon pa ng foul. Pero tama ang ginawa ni uh, Rod DeSantos' partner, no? He tried to draw the contact because he didn't have the shot. In a situation like that, where you don't have the shot, partner, you just draw the contact para matigil yung shot clock. Totoo yan. Walkvist checking his numbers already with five rebounds. Three coming off the offensive glass. Here's Doremnes. Naipit. Nilabas. Kigahol. Nilabas muli kay Doremnes. A second. Good. Rebound. Picked up by Agustin. Bounce pass. Valenzuela. Challenging. There's a foul. Malino yun. Oh, kita-kita yun. That was a push-off. But the Magna because they managed to neutralize the two big enforcers. Magna matchup nila. If you look at the Walkwist and Peak, you know kanilang version of Twin Towers and yun ang kanilang pambato, no? To neutralize Harp at yung Asipenisi. Ang tanong lamang yon kinito e kung ganon katagal lam naman natin na hindi naglalaro ng. Toto Toto si Walkvist sa loob sa floor. Of course, Ali Pick Samas binapapad yan. Nice shot from Valenzuela. On the other hand, Red Bull, meron pa silang pamalit dyan. Andi si Kirby Raimundo, andi pa si Jay Mendoza. Exactly. Well, that's up to Coach Tim Cohn whether he can draw the best out of Don Aliado. Aliado. Ayan si Eric Reyes, who's a defensive stopper. Even Kevin Ramos, for that matter. Rob Dusatos gets away. Kahoy, sapal ni Nick Kinesi. Another Super Bowl kasi tapal. Abante si Agustini na habol ni... Ali Pique and Agustin will just win the foot race. In the meantime, Mick Pinisi is down on the floor. And he is hanging on to his left arm. We don't know what happened here. We had to build the action there. Oh no, he's hanging on to his... Oh, oh. To his ankle. Right, right. Above the ankle. Yes, above the ankle. Shin. And he is grimacing in pain here. Wow, malaking development yan. And now, 30-second timeout has been slapped on uh, Batang Red Bull Thunder. Panawin natin, kung makikita natin sa slow-mo, kinito kung anong nangyari dito, ha? Oh, pansinin natin si Nick Pinisi. He tries to draw. Oops, I think he's... There's the block. He still is able to get up. And then, ayun, ayun. Ayun, bumigay. Oo. Oh. Masama ang kanyang pagbagsak. Oo, oh, bumigay. And now the game's heating up. Time to break with ice cold San Miguel. Only 12:50 at a score near you. Deeper in to make the dig. Pinisi. Oh, he's still down, partner. That's not a good sign. Di magandang ano yan. Di magandang sinyales yan. Pero si Paulo Trillo nandun na, no? Yes. And he's checking the condition of Nick Pinisi. 3.48 remaining in the first quarter. Mick Pinisi has scored a basket here. Kasama ng kanyang dalawang rebounds. And dalawang sapal. And a vital force for Red Bull. Ito si Pinisi, no? As he mentioned, averaging three block shots a game. Just been a force for them. You know, I was talking to him uh, just before the game. Dahil uh, gumawa siya isang feature para sa atin din sa Viva Vintage. And I said, get me a three-point shot. And he said, I'll, I'll give you a couple. Well, if he is, isn't able to come back, that just might be it for my wish. But Mick Benisi, well, he's hobbling out of the playing court now. And we hope that uh, this is nothing serious. Oh, let's certainly hope so. Maganda pa naman ang pinapakita ni Benisi dito sa conference nato, no? Oh, he scores of 16, 13, and 14 points. Has not shot less than double figures in any game so far in our young season. But may kapatid pa to si Mick Penisi, si David Penisi, who mm -hmm. is a uh, pro 
in the National Basketball League, the major Talaga. league of uh, Australia. Yes, ba. who's taller than him, 6'10", ba. and uh, supposedly better than him because ba. he averages close to 20 points a game. The Filipino din yun, siyempre. Sa, may, oh, sa siyempre, major Filipino. league ng Australia. Eh, baka, baka Ooh, what a shot block! Another super cool kasi tapal mula sa batang Red Bull this time si Von Hart ang sumapal kay Rodney Santos. And an outside shot. Wala. Three point shooting ni Reyes kung hindi pumasok yun. You know, coming off the, the first timeout of uh, Red Bull, para na pansin natin, biglang bumilis ang laro ng Red Bull, no? As you take a look at this uh, pass and the shot block. Von Hart just timing it well and just getting all ball. There's a play na yun. Alam mo, usually Rodney Santos ang ito sa Red he has that tipsy do reverse layup. Hindi niya ginawa doon. Tsaka parang ano eh, mabagal ng release. Inintay pa niya yung yes. defense ang dumating eh. Tinignan niya actually niya si Alvis. Hard before he went to took off for the shot. Rodney Santos has really struggled in this all Filipino conference. He has no points so far. Shot, has shot only 44% and nothing from three-point range. Pero kaya mundo na pumalik din yung tinis. Laban niya Ali Pick faking. Goes up and look at the mga gawang bola. Asa ni Damaski Hart. He goes up with the left hand. Sure. Yung know, pag-it mo about Rodney Santos, yan ang missing link nga sa, sa Alaska. And that's why we were saying, for Alaska's chances to improve to win, Duremdes and Santos have to score big numbers. Iba kasi yung nag-distribute ng bola. Iba pa yung pinapasahan eh. Dahol. Wala. Ibahan niya po. Lamang si Von Hart. Pinabol ni Brian the hole. And Hart will get away with that left hand. Hart in a big guy. 6'6". Six, six, almost 240. Running the break. Leading the fast break. Again, the transition is out of Red Bull. No? Tabla na tayo ngayon. So, mukha yata nagbunga yung uh, timeout ng uh, Red Bull. Very obvious to change of pace no? ng Red Bull. That's Kala right. Tinilis ang dinahin naro. Turn around. Wala. Red Bull gets the rebound. And here's Agustin. White shirts running again. Pero nandun ang mga nakapula. Inside to Devon. Alam mo, Pato, hindi natin natin dito sa last game. Extra pass. We're not seeing that now. Wala pa nga. Bali Walkfist. Ngayon, nagiging mas aktibo na si Devon. Nah, wala na yung pagtan niya si Mick Pinisi. Wala ang tumuha siya. Oh, and at the same time, depending kung sino ang nakamatch up sa kanya, na Ali Pick or James Walkfist, he wants to put them into early foul trouble. We'll take a break. You're watching the PBA on Viva TV. A minute 43 remaining dito pa sa ating first quarter. Even Steven at the moment, 13 ang Alaska, 13 din ang Red Bull. Aba, si Joey Loisaga at saka si Mike Advani. Mike Advani. Mm -hmm. Dating mga... Pusang bodies yan. Oh, Hinebra, dating Tika San Beda. Mm -hmm. And watching this game. Meron na itong San Beda homecoming, ano? Meron ba? I think that soon, mapasa ko si Jarius, si Mr. Manny Pangilinan, was a San Beda High School graduate. Ah, okay. And certainly one of the most outstanding graduates of that school. Mm -hmm. Although he also went to Ateneo. Talking about uh, schools, itong Lasal, mm -hmm. as a green and white uh, boy. Tapos ng Valentine's. Bukas, bukas yun. It will be a post-Valentine's post -Valentine's, huh? boy. But also to celebrate the three UAP championships. Ayun. Ang green archers. Sinong invitado dyan? Alumni. Yes. Invitado din ako. High school ako eh. Ah, high school ako sa lang. Oh, high school ako sa lang. Numbers brought to you by Quick Tide. All one three technology by Lock Tide. Ito scoreless in the last six possessions. And again, they go to Kenneth Durendez. Ito ako sa'yo, no? Parang pinapahirap ni Kenneth yung nanay. Yung tira niya eh. Nag-aalinlangan siya eh. Mahirap talaga yung position ni Kenneth. Hindi na siya napapakahan. Yet he still has to score. So he has to create his own shots now. Nice rebound mula kay Corby Raimundo off a miss by Valenzuela. By the way, si Ordoño has checked into the game. Aliado is also now in the lineup. Agustin, difficult shot. Ordoño was all over him. Limang pong saglit na lamang po nalabi sa ating unang ito. Ordoño nasa tabi. Laman kay Edmund Reyes. Actually, maliban mo sa Pinisi injury, hindi pa nagpapalit ng... There's a nice turn around by Rodney Santos. His first field goal of the day. A partner coming from a post-up. Last season, that was a specialty ni Rodney Santos. To post-up the smaller man sa kanyang matchup at the point guard position. He's doing it again here. Valenzuela, tinatauhan ni Rodney. Very dangerous pass. Napunta ni Raimundo. He's deep inside. Kick-off play. Reyes. Agustin. Top of the key. Yes. Nice ball movement. 
37 seconds remaining here in the quarter. Wala pa sa penalty ang batang Red Bull Thunder. There's the foul given up. Actually, sinisenyas na yun ni team manager or assistant team manager Andy Howe sa mga players niya. 15 foul yan ang batang Red Bull with only 3.3 seconds. There's Dr. J. Wow, Valentine's and 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 Valentine's Foul, because we don't have a penalty in the end goal. And then now they're in the penalty. Do not foul now. Here's Karembes, last shot of the quarter. He bounces out. And like we end, started, we end the same way. It's even Steven. Back to square one. Pagkat tapos po na unang yung to. Alaska 15, Red Bull 15. We'll be back sa inyong Bayan ng Superstars. Hapon sa inyo lahat. Welcome to Bill Sports Arena for our first game today. Alaska, laban sa Red Bull. Yung ating score as we work ourselves towards the second quarter. Just a report kinito this uh, situation ni Mick Pinisi. Well, sabi ni Paolo Trillo who was uh, with Mick, Mick Pinisi and the trainers of Red Bull, it's not a sprain of the ankle or neither is it a, a sprain of the knee. It's an injury that involves somewhere in his, uh, ar around his shin. And uh, he felt the two snaps on his shin. So it may have been either a muscle or even worse, a ligament or a nerve. So we're definitely he's not going to return to action today. And they're just hoping McPinisi will just be out temporarily. Yeah, let's hope for the best. But, uh, well, that's good news, however, for Alaska because they won't have to contend with another big man. Ato yan. And a shot blocker like McPinisi. So and the question is, will they be able to exploit? Adjustments now for the Red Bull. And Devon Harp is taking charge now, Pinito. Ito makikita natin, si Devon Hart has a nice touch yes. from the range. Now, look at that jump hook is almost unstoppable. Now, John Arrigo has checked in. Arrigo is in. Capacio naman para sa kupunan ng Red Bull kasama si Luel Bullones. Sila ang nasa front line ngayon. Willie Miller also in the ballgame. So, the top rookie draft against the number five pick. Here's Arrigo. Yes! Only a two-pointer from John Arrigo. Pantay na lang. It would have been a three-point shot. Actually, yan ang isa pang story dito kay Nito. Of course, ang Red Bull, gustong pagbayarin ng Alaska ni Arrigo na hindi mo ko piniling number one. Oh, oh. On the other hand, si Willie Miller trying to prove that he is worth being chosen as the number one pick. Traveling against the Monarch. What a game. 17 all. This is our sixth deadlock of the game. It's been close here at the Phil Sports Arena. Well, you notice, Pater, that uh, Kenny Duremes has slid over to the number three spot, no? And, I don't know if this will mean that he will be getting the ball a lot more instead of handling it, no? Oh, nga. Now, he's going to be a recipient instead of uh, someone who's going to initiate the offense from the number three spot. Ali Peek. Illegal D will be called on Batang Red Bull Thunder. That's only the first of that nature today. Yang Giao is complaining. Ano bang nangyari doon? There's Coach Giao. Still talking to the referees. Nearly two minutes gone by in the second. Offensive foul. Labat dito ang aliado. That is number one of the young Don Aliado. And those are the mistakes that really hurt by turn because hindi sila nakakapag-execute. And then a turnover, and as we mentioned, partner, 20 turnovers a game on Alaska. That's leading the league sa all Filipino conference. Exactly. At uh, in this game, they've got three turnovers so far. Willie Miller with a three-pointer. And there's a foul. Laban ki Kirby Raimundo. Yun mga cheap shots uh -huh. and cheap fouls. Well, that, was, uh, that shot of Willie Miller was partially uh, deflected. So, part of the trend watch, 25 points combined for uh, Santos and Durendes. Yun ang babatayin natin. Mm. Will they be able to achieve that or not? Right now, they have Tap six. They have six out of the 17 ng Alaska. Tapos, yung turnovers ng Alaska, will they be able to chalk up less than 20 or more than 20 so far? Tapdo na ang turnover nila. And we will be watching those numbers sa Pinito Henson's trend watch. Samantala si Ordoño, naipit, libre si Arrigo, a second to shoot, 24 seconds shot clock, will expire laban sa Alaska Aces, magandang defense at that time ng Thunder. And now Kevin Ramas will see action for the first time, Ali Peek will sit down. Nakikita rin natin si Jay Mendoza reporting now to the scorer's table. 
Miller laban kay Otoño, he gets away. Goes all the way to the hole and there's a foul. Ang kapang nitong bata to. At saka yung crossover niya, partner. Biglang nabura si Otoño. In that crossover move. He was going left and Willie Miller went right. Quick as, a, quick as lightning actually. It, uh, bagay, na bagay, ano eh, bagay na bagay siya sa thunder eh. As Willie Miller goes to the line, 23 years old, born in Olongapo City, and was the first overall pick this year. Only the fourth guard in PBA history na mapiling number one pick overall. And that's a hell of a company. Alan Kaidik, Peter Howe in 1990, Paolo Mendoza, of course, last year, now Willie Miller. But one half resting on the bench now, at ang pumbalis sa kanya is Jay Mendoza. So let's see whether this second unit of Red Bull can match up against the second unit of Alaska. Right now they're pacing the Aces by 1, 18 to 17. Arigo losing the left. Bola ng batang Red Bull. Yun ay yun ang isang criticism kay John Arigo. Masyadong manipis daw na pag mabangga mo ng konti, hindi naman tatawagan ka agad ng referee yan. Tatalsik. Tatalsik ang bola. Parang sa... Pati siya, tatalsik. Oo, pati siya. Di ba yung American football, yun ang... Banggaan ng banggaan doon eh. Oh. Miski hawak mo na yung bola, pag nabangga ka at may hinahinang uh, katawan mo, tatansik talaga yung bola eh. Exactly, matibitawan mo. Hmm. Mendoza, first shot. Ba, pabanda pa. Kumalog naman. Almost went in. Ano to si Doremdes? Arigo. Ano pa pa, laban si Lowell Briones. Nakakita natin, partner, on the, of the players on the floor, the only starter is Kenneth Durendes. No? Talagang hindi papalitan yan ni Coach Tim Cohen. No? He needs Durendes inside the court. 8.48 remaining dito pa sa ating second quarter. Again, we're happy to have you with us, especially our friends. Diyan pa sa Laugliga ng uh, Batangas. Batangas City, sa Lipa City, and of course, sa Tanawan. Welcome sa inyong bayan ng superstars. Don Aliado. Uy, uli ka. Pakalawa na ni Kirby Raimundo. Pero partner, ang bagal ng opensa ng Alaska, no? There's a lot of hesitation. They can't get their spacing. And they cannot run their triangle offense. No? But if you... Actually, kung titignan mo yung lineup nila lima eh, wala talagang gustong tutira dyan except maybe for the Remdes and maybe Arrigo. Pero yung Aliado uh, Ramas and Ordonio are practically role players and exactly. defensive stoppers. No? Si Arrigo, well, he'd like to pull the trigger oh. every time he gets a chance oh. to. Ang problema sometimes, the defense clamps down on him. Oh. Nagtatagal yung bola sa kanya. Yun. And as a result, nauubusan ng uh, oras si Dong Alaska to execute their offense. At pag tumindi ang uh, defense ng kalaban, itong Alaska, they don't seem to run anymore yung mga pick screen situations, not to free uh, their teammates. No? Kukunti din na kanilang mga pick and roll. They either just try the triangle or they go isolation for Duremdes. No? Two-man game siguro, kailangan din yan. Kunting uh, versatility, kunting uh, repertoire, additional sa kanilang repertoire. In the meantime, ako na punta si Jay Mendoza. He's one out of two from the field right now. And Red Bull back on top by one. Kapasok po tayo ng walong minuto sa ikalawang yuto. Dorendes, fall away, short. Ramas with the offensive rebound, gets it to Aliado. Picks it out to Arrigo, long jumper. Proud to the pick ni Mendoza, and there's going to be a foul against Kenneth Dorendes. Yang Jiao still complaining na mayroong traveling violation. I think he has a point. Si Aliado. Oh, he has a point. Aliado lost his footing as he tried to... Let's watch it again, ito. Pasa ni Ramas yan, and then Aliado will... Dito sa sa usan ng kote, oh, ito kong layo nun. Talagang, talagang ballroom dancing na yun. Slow-mo brought you by PLDD for only 40 cents a minute call any country, any time, and any phone through PLDD IDD. And there's a whistle. Illegal D. Illegal D. He's not from the Alaska Aces. That is John Arrigo. Inbound lamang para sa patang Red Bull Thunder. Again, this is only the... First offering today in our main game on Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs with a 2-1 record. We'll go up against the Pop Cola Panthers, 1 and 2. Ano rin po niyan, maya maya, Anthony Suntay, TJ Manotto, will bring the coverage to you. Samantala. Atake ng Alaska, 7.22 remaining sa second quarter. Uy, ang lakas nung pick na yun, ha? Foul daw bago yung pick na binigay ni Otonio. Ha, ha, ha. 
Capacho. First foul to Glenn Capacho, and quickly he uh, taps John Hargonio. Devon Hart checking in. Let's watch this again. Tinito, ano ba nangyari ito mo ito ha? Ito na yung foul. Yan ang tamang foul. Yun ang foul. Boom. Ang oh, nakuha. Talaga dito sa PB, kala mat matindi ang katawan eh. Konting pitik eh. Capacho sticking to Doremdes. Here's Kenneth. Rebound. Tapped out. By Arigo. Ramos open shot. Wala. And Mendoza battling here. And there's going to be a foul against Glenn Capacho. And the Palo Leyte native will pick up his second foul now. Foul number 12, Glenn Capacho. Two-man substitution oh, checking in for the Alaska Aces. Rama sits down. Dorendes will get his first taste off the bench. Reyes and Ali Peak will check in. Alaska has lost its last two games, and Batang Red Bull has won its last two games. And well, they're hoping to continue that trend. And Alaska trying to snap out of their losing streak. Aliado with a jump shot to give Alaska a one-point lead. Miller from long distance, yes, that was a PLDT, long distance shot for only 40 cents a minute, call any country, anytime, on any phone, PLDT phone through, PLDT IDD, tap out by Willie Miller, maganda yung release ito si Willie Miller, ano? at sya yung uh, pick na binigay sa kanya, partner, that was just a slight pick, and he really didn't have much time to aim, that was his first three-pointer dito sa PBA. Prior to this game, he was zero out of five. Ali Peak. And there's a foul against Jay Mendoza. Well, you can expect that from Mendoza part that he is in to see Ali Peak. Ito, kita natin. Ito, boom. Isa pa. Boom. Bumigay na siya. Actually, hinawa ka pa ni Jay Mendoza, no? Yung kamiseta ni Ali Peak to bring him down. Ay, oh, sabi niya, ako lang ba nga halik sa sahig? <laughs> Sasama ko na pababa. And they are already in the penalty. The Thunders, the Thunder team is at... Uh, Maaga to, ha? Maaga. Like to get into the penalty. 6.31 to go. So, Ali P. will go to the line. Impressive numbers for the mountain. And what a pickup para sa Alaska, ha? Alam natin na nasira ang kanilang chemistry, inalis nila ang isang mamang Coach Winyas. We take a look at Kenny Evans seeing action for the first time here. But Ali Peak has just proven that this, he's a guy that can help any team. Hindi lamang sa opensa because we know he can put up the numbers. But this is a guy who can also play excellent defense and, and can be a leader on the floor. Kenny Evans now in the ball game. Mamakita yung matchup niya, partner. No, Evans at Chaka Simila. Kagat pinawaga ng foul ito si Evans. That's right. And you know that that must hurt. You give up one of your team fouls on a touch foul like that, partner. No, parang na parang sayang na sayang si nayang ni Kenny Evans sa foul niya. First foul to Kenny Evans. Lordi Togade has checked into the game. Capasho sitting down. Gamadala Bayon is missing. Si Kenny Evans was the 18th pick overall this year. Sa ating PBA annual draft. Second uh, na napili ng Alaska. Doon sa kanilang uh, pagkakato, makapili ng mga bagong players. Here's Kenny Evans sa kanto. Laban ni Willie Miller. Two-man game on the left side. Now he goes down low. Rally peak with only two seconds on the shot clock. Peak picking. Again, partner, they tried to run the triangle, but they could not get the spacing. Kasi nandun yung depensa. We have not moved, at least in terms of leads. Lamang o, tabla pa rin po tayo dito. Alaska 23, Red Bull 23. Anang ating Adidas halftime report. A minute and a half remaining in the second quarter. Lamang po ang Alaska na lima, 32 to 27. And that lead has been built up by the penalty situation of Batang Red Bull. Here's a turnover against the Aces. Valenzuela drops it off. Raimundo. He knew it. And that's a super full because he'll tap out by Kenneth Torrentes. They're running. Four on two. Rodney Santos on a dime. And Alaska matching their biggest lead at 7, 34 to 27. Ang magaling si Rodney Parter yung pull-up jumper niya, no? Kanina tinanong mo, no? Who will be doing the scoring for Alaska? 
Kanina nung wala si Danny Durandes, no? And even on this lineup on the floor, you have non non scorers, role players, no? Like Danny Evans on the floor, Kevin Lando. But apart from they've gotten the job done on defense. That's right. They have so limited Red Bull to 27 yes. points. So what are you going to ask about Penza? They make it up in defense. Look at the numbers of uh, Red Bull. They're averaging about 77.7 points a game, limiting their opponents to only 72, which is the tied for the best in the league. Kasi aman ng uh, kopya ng Shell Turbo Chargers. Sa matala at Augustine checking in now. Small lineup here for Batang Red Bull with Augustine Solis and Judy Valenzuela. But Mark. may experience some backward on Red Bull, you know? especially against this uh, full court pressure in Alaska. The coach Jim Gao is going with veterans in the backcourt to calm things down because para nagiging panic ito ng Red Bull, no? mm -hmm. the face of this very suffocating defense applied by Alaska. Well, ang bumubuhay sa kanila pinito si Ali, uh, rather si Devon Harp. He has seven points in the game to lead uh, Red Bull in scoring. Santos, nila basta Kenny Evans. Back to you. Turn around by Rodney and that is yes. his shot. This is his game. And he posts up and takes that turnaround jumper. Six points in the game for the slasher. Time down to only seven seconds in the quarter. There's a whistle. That's a penalty na rin ng Alaska. Santos ang tatawagan ng foul. That is his second personal foul. Sending Valenzuela to the free throw line. Santos Durendes combination, 12 points in total ba? together. Half time tayo, so times two, 24. Pwede, pwede. Oh, pwede. Sa ating trend watch, oh. Nikinito Henson. Junti Valenzuela has averaged those uh, numbers in his first three games. Came up with the original six ng uh, Batang Red Bull last year when they had their maiden year dito po sa bayan ng superstars. And he has just uh, played heads up ball para kay Coach Yang Yao. That's down the lead of Alaska to five points with 6.6 .6 seconds to go. At ngayon, tatawag ng 30 second timeout si Coach Tim Cohn just to set up this one final play of the half. Alaska has practically dominated this half, although it's been a very close one. We've had a total of seven deadlocks. Alaska led by as many as seven. Red Bull only led at the opening bell. Defense oriented ito laro na to, no? Low scoring. Both teams showing what they can do defensively. But ang malaking bagay going against Red Bull is yung pagkawala ni Mick Pinisi. And they're going to feel his absence more, even more, in the second half. Time out means time for San Miguel Light, the low calorie beer, only 12.50. At a store okay. near you. And then I want you, you remember you can move. Okay. Then I want Brian. Nick Benisi left in the first quarter with a an injury on his shin. As we take a look at Tim Cohn. Actually Mick Benisi is no longer in the at the Phil Sports Arena, at least on the playing court. Lumabas. Hobbling. 6.6 seconds remaining. Inbound from the backcourt. Alaska. Looking to have the last say here. Rodney Santos, Dorendes faking, goes closer, goes up, and that will not go. But it's been a magnificent second quarter. Para sa kupunan ng Alaska, Dorendes and Rodney Santos combining for 12 points. Ali Peak leading the charge with 11, and Alaska leads by 5 after the first 24 minutes. Coming at the half, ang ating PBA Valentine treat feature, and of course, your Adidas halftime report. Lahat po yan sa Bayern Time Superstar. Time for a Red Horse Beer. Ang Red Bull Thunder. Muli po isang magandang magandang gabi sa inyo lahat mga kaibigan. Welcome sa inyong Bayan of Superstars. Noli Iyala po kasama si Kinito Henson. Remember this is only our first offering in our main game today. Pure Foods DJ Hot Dogs go up against the Pop Cola Panthers. At maganda ning laban niya Kinito. Yung Pure Foods of course uh, coming off a loss. Pop Cola also suffering a couple of losses now. But uh, both these teams have also souped up their uh, lineups and it should be a very good uh, basketball game. And strong following, uh, maraming uh, followers ito Pure Foods, uh, ganun din sa Pop Cola. Addition, yun ang sinasabi natin eh, itong basketball parang addition, parang politics din yan. Ay, politics no, is addition, basketball is addition. At uh, yung Pop Cola, aside from its uh, 
stable of fans, no? very loyal fans. Nakahatak pa sila ng mga fans ni Johnny Abariento. Yes. Pochuinho. Yan. Eight new faces in the camp of Pacola. We begin the third quarter. Bola ng uh, Batang Red Bull Thunder. They have only led once during the opening uh, bell, 2 to nothing. Devon Harp, Kapitawa ng bola, Miranda stepping it out. Pero partner, great head defense, galing sa Alaska. Kaya mo, nakita nila nung uh, nag-front defense ito si Alex. Would have been an easy two points for Devon Harp. Pero nag-react yung weak side defense. Mm -hmm. Trent watch natin kinito. Duremdes and Santos have combined for 12 points in the turnovers. Alaska has kept it to, an, to 8 turnovers. So, ano ba ang ating trend dito? Well, uh, looking good for Alaska. Not only that, masabi nga natin, Alaska should score more than 70 to again improve its chances of winning. Because it's not good. It's been able to limit its opponents to less than 70. Nakaka-36 na ang uh, Alaska at the end of the first half. Times 2 pa. 72 yun. Exactly. Kanina hmm. nakita tayo ng no-fear slam. Wala kay uh, Devon Hart, no fear slam, face your fears, live your dreams, and here's James Walkvist. Uh, long court, they're up by three, a minute gone by, Dorendes, hasak sa salo, binagot siya Ali Pick, faking, he's deep underneath, oh this is a difficult shot, Apigan, wala pa nakakuha, finally hinabal ni Pick, and there's gonna be a small foul against the mountain. But partner, that play was executed for Kenneth Durandes. There was a almost para triple pick yata yun eh. Oh. Or at least a double pick for Kenneth Durandes for him to be able to get the ball and come close to the basket. Pero hindi pa niya nakaano, hindi pa siya high score. Remember, Kenneth Durandes in the first half took 12 shots from the floor. That's 12 shots. That's the most of any player in, floor in either team. Indeed. And yet, Durandes has only scored 6 points. Shooting only 18% of the field. And now an illegal defense call among the Aces. That will mean a technical free throw para sa batang Red Bull Thunder. We had a very long second quarter. Ang rasundun, of course, yung 19 fouls ng batang Red Bull Thunder. Pascal scored for 6. And at Augustine at the line. One of the more reliable hands from the four and a half meter line. Seven points for the Atom Bomb. Ten and a half remaining. Alaska up by two. Wala pang putos na nagagawa dito ng Alaska. Nakaka-apat na. Pupunan na nga. Oh, yes! High in the sky play. No fears, land. Face your fears. Love your dreams. And back-to-back -back hits para kay Devon Harp. At biglang-bigla, partner. We are tied. Eighth deadlock of the game. We've had nine or eight deadlocks. A kick out play by the hole. He has to make that shot. That is an open one. Valenzuela, to mata ko si Raimundo. Medyo mababa ang pasa. Agustin ngayon. Sabi niya, nahandahan na natin to. Edmond Reyes nasa labas. They go down low to the kid. Here's Kirby. Curly going up. Strong. Ali P gets the miss. Rodney Santos na nagsiklab ang kamay noong second quarter with four points out of his six. As the leather now drops it off, Ali Peek. Sino ba yan ang dalawa? Yes! Strong move from Ali Peek. Nice pass coming from Rodney Santos. Partner, yun, para talaga pinag-aralan nila how to be able to execute that kind of play. It was two men on the strong side. 13 in the game for Ali Peek. To lead all scorers here, Agustin, and then has to kick it out. Four seconds of the shot clock from the corner. Oh God. What a shot from the atom bomb. Nakira pa angle mo. Yes. Deep peak, and that was behind the basket. Nine oh, points today for the Ryder of Pampanga. Oh, the end is one. Yes, that's a PLDD, IDD long distance shot. And Kenneth Duremdes. Now with a total of nine points in the game. And he has to crank it up, partner, no? Sabi nga natin, he took 12 shots in the first half. He's got to take probably the same number of shots here in the second half. He's got to keep on putting up those shots because he is a primary scorer. Sa panapangit natin, he was only shooting 10% prior to this game from three-point range. Today, he's one out of two. Samantala, si Brian Gahol, tatawagan na kanyang unang personal foul. Pangalawang team foul yan ng Alaska at the 8.33 mark. 
Lamang pa rin po ang aces ng tatlo. 41 to 38. Matik na maagaw yung inbound. Tuluyan naman na agaw. Tinapit ni Dorentes. Hinabol ng mga tinga Red Bull. Hindi makuha ni Brian Rahol. Napulo final ito to Von Hart. Here's our pick-up play. Agustin. Prior to that one. There's gonna be a foul. Dorentes will be whistled for this one. Number three of Kenneth Dorentes. The intensity is picking up just a little bit more here now. And of course at this stage, you medyo ito mga players ito eh. Tanda na rin naiintindihan kung gano'n ka importante ang oras. Devon Hart. Alakas. Edmund Reyes with the offensive rebound and there's going to be a foul here against Wolfvist. Pero ang kita natin, pardon, yung panggahan sa ilalim. The referees are letting them play it out. Ang lalaki niyan. And now, John Ardonio will check back in. Brian Gohol will sit down. Alam mo, partner, dapat siguro ma-explain natin yung gusto natin sabihin when we were saying that Durendas is the primary scorer, yet Ali Peek is leading this team in scoring. Now, against a team like Red Bull, ito si Ali Peek, will have his hands full scoring against someone like a Gabon Harp. And for Alaska, they need movement off the ball to be able to get open looks. And their offense should flow from the backcourt as a result, instead of Alipik starting the trend. May mga nagtatanong dyan, Kinito, gano'n mo katagal gagawin yung play na yun? At, you know, habang nagliminkis yung mga tumitira sa labas, yung kainin ko rin dyan sa kanya, Rocky Santos, I'm gonna be very patient with them. He just continued to go to that particular player. Antonio hitting a basket here. So long as you have good looks, partner, mm -hmm. you cannot be faulted for taking a shot. Your right. shot selection will always be good. But as I think, ko, the backcourt should open up things for Ali Pick. Precisely because it's the one harp of Kalabani Ali Pick's a loop, no? And if uh, Santos and Durendes slash and score from the other, they will, they, will say that they will certainly open up things here for Ali Pick. Mundo, two misses from close range. And here come the red shirts, Antonio. Walang pupuntahan. Yun yung lapas niya. Nawala na din yung papiyasa sa opensa, no? Ni John Ardonio. Although tumira siya kanina, no? Oo. But he's not really looking to score any longer. The bully now. No. Still not. Kasi nga po na siya. Kuntik na matapik ang bola. Robby Santos will take it. And here he is. Alam mo, he's... Alam niya eh. Frustrated ito si Robby Santos. He knows he can put up bigger numbers on the board. And, well, today may be his best game. Eight points already for the slasher. Also, they're making the extra pass. Something they didn't do in the first quarter. Something they began to do in the second quarter. And now they're beginning to do it again. Dito, kanya, ito. Five points na naman ang lead ng Alaska. 6.37 remaining sa third quarter. Alaska continues to dominate. Devon Harp. Nako, yung pectos niya. Pabalik na. Pabalik na lakas naman. And they come back the other way again. Brought around to John Ardonio. Naglaki Dorendes inside to Ali Peek. And that ball, medyo yung angulo ng pasa malayo kay Ali Peek. But right idea si Kenny Dorendes, Parker, because he's been hitting along with Rodney Santos. The defense is now concentrated on them. And yeah, that's why they're beginning to look for Ali Peek inside. Yun na maganda lang yung pasa. Alaska has already used 11 players in this game. Only Richard Dixon has not played. Kala ng Tata Red Bull has used about 8 players so far. And there's Ato Agustin again. Ano ba, yan ang mainit. Yes. Si Ato Agustin ang mainit dito sa third quarter. And Red Bull should go to him. He's got the hot hand. 11 points para si Ato Agustin for team high honors para sa batang Red Bull. Dorendes sucks. Yes. 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 Talk about hot hands, partner. Ito si Kenny Dorendes. Nag-iinig ka rin dito. The pride of Coronadal, South Cotabato. Kenny Dorendes with 11 also in the game. And balik sa lima. Ang abante na kumunan ng Alaska. Balik sa lima. A little bit of an opening. Wala. Come on, Hart. With a tip in. Wala. Wala. Kasarapan ito si Hart. Ang sipag. He's always around the ball. He's always around the basket. And he's got that soft touch from close range. Diyan kayong kanyang put back. He's up there for the offensive rebounding position. Santos Mule. Ten points for Rodney Santos. Ito'y Durendes Santos combination has been wreaking havoc on Red Bull's defense. Friend Watch, 21 points already combined yung Durendes at saka Santos. And you said 25 may be the magical number for them. Target nila is 25. 4.50 remaining here in the third. Pick ni Raimundo. Ang at si Kirby wala. He's been trying, Ginito, pero parang ano eh. He's not had the range. But he's also out of position, partner. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Maybe that shot. Sure. Ali Peek. Yes. 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 Yes.
pinapakain o pinapatikim ni Ali Peek si Devon Harp yung kanyang paglalaro and Ali Peek is winning this matchup right now Alasco taking over a 7 point lead here in the third and one play for Ali Peek ito na ang abad ni Kinito ng Alaska 51 to 44 ang kanyang mapalayo na sila dito walang na ngayon as you see, oh, Fred Uitensu, lovely wife Terry, of course, team owner in Alaska, always present when Alaska plays, so to give more support for his team. For as long as he's in the Philippines, he's in the country, yes, oh. and just Fred Uitensu. And, uh, well, lalong-lalo na ngayon ang Alaska medyo down ang kanilang performance, and yes, they a two-game losing streak right now, they're hoping to snap that today. And you know what's nice to see the Utensus here in Park is that they always bring their friends. They really enjoy the game. Yes. It's not so much that uh, just because they own it, it's not to do no, It's not an obligation for them. They really enjoy it. I think which goes for almost all of the team owners. Yeah. So he can succeed, of course, the Pop Cola Panthers. Oh, yes. Oh, and I'm sure he'll be here. I'm sure. He's in town, huh? Yes, obviously. Zigzagging. Hola. Hola, na pula ni Rodney Santos. Three on two. Make that three on three now. Santos is open. Sure. Oh, sure. Very sure. And the ball will go back to the Thunder. Alam mo, partner, mas pagaling pa yata ito si Rodney Santos if he pulls up on a dime yes. and takes the jumper. That time, he hesitated. He looked around and then he went up for the shot. Tapos! Sayang at libre na siya. Parang free throw yun eh. No. Walit, walo pa rin po ang abandon ng uh, Aces with three and a half remaining in the third. There's the cut by Agustin, who also has the hot hand. Siyang uh, pinatawuan ni Rodney Santos. Here's Devon Hart. Up against Ali Peek with the left hand. Wala. And the ball will go back to Alaska. Alam mo, partner, ito si Devon Hart. He is deadlier when his back is towards the basket. And then he spins. Ito, that time he attacked, tried to attack the basket frontally. Ayun ang nangyari. He didn't have the right angle. He has scored 13 points so far. Trying to step up his uh, offensive game in the absence of Mick Benisi. In the meantime, Jay Mendoza has checked in. Pilotan niya si Kirby Raimundo. Rodney Arado and Torrentes yes. from the long distance. That was another PLDD long distance shot. Torrentes now with a total of 14 in the game. And they have combined for 24. Silang dalawa ni Rodney Santos. That's a fiery combination now, partner. Nakikita natin. They're leading the charge. Now, Ali Pick is getting his points. But as I said, the offense should emanate from that combination. And then Ali Pick will just pick it up. Because things will open up for him if Santos and Durendes get hot. And they are sizzling right now. Rodney Santos and Kenneth Durendes giving Alaska an 11-point lead with 2.48 remaining. Magbabalik po ang inyong Bayan ng Superstars. And right now, cue po natin para ipasok ang ating No Fear Slam Dunk. Kanina ito yung alley-oop mula kay uh, Valenzuela. Patungo kay Devon Hart playing beautiful music. Wow, what a slam jam. That was a No Fear Slam. Face your fears. Live your dreams. Naimbang karabi yung amin sa ating po mga kababayan sa Ilocanya. Welcome sa inyong Bayan of Superstars. Tolly Yala po kasama si Kinito Henson. Labing isa ang lamang na Alaska Aces na papias ngayon sa Sambu. Pero malayo-layo pa rin ito. Willie Miller now returning to action. Uupo ngayon si Ato Overskin. With 2.48 remaining in the third. Spark plug ito si Willie Miller partner. But uh, this is a big sacrifice on coach Yang Biao Spark. Huh? He sits down at Augustine, who has been hot in this quarter, because he cannot take out Valenzuela, who is his chief defender. That's going to be Matapang ni Willie Miller. Oh. In the gut of the defense. Hinamon niya, dalawang malaki. And walk this will pick up the foul. Let's watch it again. Look at this. Four red shirts around him. And it's hanging in the air. He'll need his logo. For only 40 cents a minute, call any country, anytime on any phone, through PLDTIDD. Lakas ito ng Willie Miller. Lakas ito ng Willie Miller. Lakas ito ng loob. Big-hearted uh, Willie Miller. Don Aliado back in the game. Out si Walkfist. Incidentally, balita natin. Andy Howe's uh, oh, yes. wife, Erilyn, is celebrating her birthday today. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Erilyn. And Erilyn, of course, is uh, from Kamiling Tadlak. Nandun tayo sa panlakahapon sa Victoria. They celebrated a, uh, well, one day of their week-long fiesta. Oh. At uh, si Mayor Yang Giam was hosted the affair. It was a very well-attended, very successful affair. 
Cruz on the pass, and Ordonio gets the loose ball off a tap there. Tumatak po si Rodi Santos, ano si Devon Hart. On a time. Yeah, this is what happened at this. The pull-up jumper, yeah, maasahan natin si Rodi Santos. Pero kung if he hesitates and he looks around, nasan yung defense, nasan yung kakampi ko. Parang niya, kinakapos. Little jumper on a dime, getting a million bucks, and Alaska is up by 11, 57 to 46, after two minutes to play here. Alam mo, hindi lamang opensa ng Alaska gumigiling ngayon, which we talked about at the top of the court, which we said that their, uh, their offense has been very off in their last two losses. But their defense is just incredible. They have limited Red Bull to only 46 points so far, with less than two minutes remaining here. Well, partner, we did notice no, that in the second quarter, talaga nagsak at yung defensive intensity ng uh, Alaska. No? And they went with a combination that was defense-oriented. Si Kenny Evans, yun ang uh, isa sa mga defensive keys. Ng, uh, ng Alaska. So, nagbubunga yung mga adjustments ginawa ni Tim Cohn. Lowell Briona is getting a layup kanina. Lead is at 9 points. Ordonio, sublime. Rebound to Devon Harp. Devon Harp only with 5 rebounds today. Briones muli. Goes under. Tough shot. 29-year-old from Cebu City played for the University of Visayas and was the 5th overall pick ng Purefoots back in 97. Papasok po tayo ng isang minuto sa ating huli, uh, third quarter. Nari ko si Doremdes. Baseline gets away. Goodbye. Good exploded partner, no? Santos and Doremdes really taking charge here now for Alaska. They have indeed. What a ball game for Rodney Santos. Six points in the quarter. As Tony Miller goes up. On the other hand, si Doremdes has scored ten points in the quarter. Half a minute remaining here. 59 to 50. Lama po ang Alaska na siyam. Nandito si Rodney. Nilabas kay Ordonio. Briones is on top of him. He goes up for the short. Jumper wala. Rebound ni Willie Miller. A lot of time to take one more shot here. Red Bull down by nine. And Miller, Miller sabi niya, dahan-dahan natin to. Shot clock is off. Eight seconds to go. Here's Willie. Willie from long and short in off line, and that'll do it for the third. Rodney Santos, Kenneth Durandes, combining for a total of 28 points. And the slasher and captain Marbella have given the Aces a nine-point lead after three quarters of play. Magbabalik po ang PBA on Viva TV. Sa ilang... 0.5 seconds to go sa third quarter. Makikita natin ang depensa ni Rodney Santos. We know this is about two... More than three steps away from Miller, no? Because Santos expecting him to drive in. Ang ginawa ni Santos, pinagbigyan niya si Miller to take the outside shot. Low percentage shot, hin hindi pumasok. And the gamble paid off, partner, no? Yeah, boys, I think PLDT is Lomo for only 40 cents a minute. Call any country, any time, on any phone through PLDT IDD. And the gamble paid off indeed. And right now, Alaska with a nine-point lead to begin the fourth quarter as we take a look at our quarter scoring brought to you by QuickTime. The all-in-one blue technology by Laptite. Kumanggap na ang opensa ng Alaska. No? Second and third quarters, they scored 20 points over. Whereas itong uh, Red Bull has not been able to score or hit a 20-point mark in any of the three quarters so far. Through. And there's Aliado with a smart move. Pinapalbog ang bola sa binti ni Devon Harp. Jay Mendoza in the game. Capascio is also in the lineup para sa kupuna ng Red Bull. Practically all of these players except for Devon Harp uh, hey. coming off the bench. Exactly, and Durandes partner. He's still there. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. What a shot. Play up shot. Durandes is earning every centavo from his eight-year contract right now. Hindi siya pinapalitan. Hindi siya... Hindi siya na... Well, hindi siya napapagod, no? But they're not giving him any rest. See, Rodney Santos is now sitting down on the bench. So he's reserving the bench. 59%, 36%, yan po mga numero sa ating quick time board brought to you by quick time. The all-in-one blue technology by Loctite and another turnover here against Red Bull. Well, run out of space si Willie Miller. Kanina nakita natin yung last shot niya nung sa third period. No? And the point we wanted to make is that uh, if you're an off offensive player, you do what the defender doesn't want you to do. And in that play, Santos wanted Miller to take the outside shot, which he did. Parang na-trap siya. Here's the Rentis. No, what, what, what a game. What a game. And he has exploded by now. Now, this is his best game so far on his new 8-year contract. 
The yes. previous high was 17. Correct. 14 points in the second half alone. Para gotcha. Kenneth Durandes. A total of 20 in the game, and he uh, is just taking over. Well, with 10 minutes and 13 to go, Parker, Alaska already has accumulated 63 points. Oh. Sabi nga natin, ang water mark dito, 70 points, no? Alaska's chances get better to win against Red Bull. If they score over 70, and they're just 7 points away from that point. Everyone hard, yes. That's down to lead someone to 11, 63 to 52. Malaking bagay yung pagkawala ni Mick Pinas sa part-time. Malaking bagay. Even the rotation na pulapog eh. Yes. And Yeng Giao has just had to make the adjustments in the uh, game situation. In the meantime, Aliado with a nice jumper well, from the side. Tumakas na ang confidence level. Not only by, uh, not only of uh, Durendes, but also of players like Aliado. Oh, what a, what a lead pass. Oh, he's a young, pero may foul. Ang ganda ng lead pass, partner. That was a beautiful lead pass of Kenny Durandes. At hindi ruled as a foul in the act of shooting. Inbound lamang ibibigay sa Alaska. It's a good foul. Yes, Devon Hart saving two points there. 13-point lead. This is the biggest lead of the game. It was very close in the first half. We had about uh, eight or seven ties. But in the third quarter, biglang Umarangkada, ito po na ng Alaska. Iniwanan ang gusto gusto ang Red Bull. Big foul here. Will be called on Jay Mendoza. Not a smart foul, partner. No, because paubos sa ang shot clock ng Alaska. And now they reset. Mendoza called for the foul. And again, nabalik na naman ang Red Bull doon sa sitwasyon na papasok sila sa penalty ng maaga. They have two team fouls already. And we haven't even played three minutes here in the final quarter. In effect, the uh, bagong rule ng, uh, ng PBA yung to bring it back to 14 seconds, no? If it's less than 14 seconds to go. Durandes, there's the follow-up. Palakas, Hart gets the rebound. Siya ta rin ang nagdala pa baba. Siya pa rin ang may tangan. Libre si Miller. Swings it over to Leones. Jump shot. Oy! Game is over there for the football. Alam mo, partner. Ito, Red Bull. Hoping to make a run at this stage, no? Kenny Durandes on the floor. I would like Kenny Durandes to take a few minutes of wrestling, though. No? He just might be overextended on this point. Are you even losing it? Goes up. Ay, ang butiki sa ilalim. At tumatambo mga nakapunta. Briones, laban niyo. Tony, nice behind the ball. Oh, yes. This is the run. And Parker, mukha yata pagod na ito si Durandes, no? They need him for the stretch run. His lead has been brought down to nine. And he's had to do all the scoring here dahil nga wala si Alipig, wala si Rodney Santos on the floor. Here's Ordoño, one-handed shot, Palakas, offensive pass to Ramas, and he's fouled by Jay Mendoza. Good uh, job on the boards by Kevin Ramas. Si Ordoño has missed his last three attempts on the floor. Ito yung huling galaw ni Lovell Briones, behind the back from the Cebu City native. And the former NBA player showing his stuff here. Getting a basket on the layups of Asprey. Nine point lead. Para sa Alaska, this was biggest at 13. And Kevin Ramos, the veteran, that's the free throw. And now, yung sina hinihiling mo kinito na pahinga para kay Kenneth Durandes. Dininig ni Coach Tim Cohn. Rodney Santos is back. Durandes sits down. That's a good move. Pero ang pumalik sa kanya si Santos. Well, yes. I think baka may unwritten rule din ito si uh, Coach Tim Cohn. If Durandes is out, then Santos must be in. Yes. Especially since Santos is a scorer. At ang isa... He needs to fill it, fill it, uh, pick up the slack. Ang isa pa dyan, eh, wala pa si Ali Fix sa sayo. Although he was going to, he was about to check in. But si Kevin Rama sa kanyang papalitan. Arigo. Ba, ball pick. Nice move. Oh, yes. Nice Arigo. Oh, ho. Oh. With an excellent move on the break, and Alaska continues to roll here. They continue to lead. That was a Red Bull, 68 to 56. Double galing. Welcome back, Senyong Phil Sports Arena. It's a 12-point lead right now for the Alaska Aces. John Arrigo, the fifth overall pick this year, has uh, stepped up his game off the bench. Six points coming off the bench para kay Arrigo. And certainly that's a big help. In the meantime, Devon Harp is in the middle of the ball. He was too deep, partner. 
a player like the Von Hart, you have to push him away from his comfort zone. If he's in too deep after getting the entry pass, you score the two points. Oh, bad pass by Ordonio. Tumama sa pani at Augustine. Here's Augustine. Binalik sa kanya ni Briones. Nice, nice passing. Four straight points and the lead is down to eight again. Marami pang oras dito. Vinito, 7-17 remaining in the game. And we know this Batang Red Bull team. Can come back. Oh. Ordoño passing up on the shot. Si Alvado will not win this. Masyadong tulis yun eh. Ordoño gets the offensive rebound. There's Ali Peek going strong. No. Mendoza grabs the rebound. Opportunity para sa Thunder to roar back into this game. He wants a two-man game on the left side. Briones, Laban de Arrigo, Dalawang crossover. Mendoza will take the shot. Short. Briones gets the offensive rebound. Goes up again. Voila! Opportunities lost there. Big break here for Alaska partner because good looks for Briones. Uh, yes. Ali Pink, Lepaski John Arrigo. Looking three. Tira ni Aliado, Malagas. Mark gets the miss. See, Rocky Santos, partner, is not getting the shot. Not even getting the pass. Oh. Valenzuela has done a magnificent job on him, and there's a foul by Rocky Santos. As we near the halfway mark of the final quarter, right now, pasok muna natin ang ating nasty refreshing face of the day. Her name is Sandra Seifert. She's a Red, Bu Red Bull Muse. This most refreshing face of the day is brought to you by Nesty Ice Tea. Take the plunge. Hi there, too. I uh, see Kenny Durandes has uh, checked back in. See? Check in. Ah, and then, see Kenny Evans ang ipinalik dito. As Briones takes oh! it. Oh, shot. Oh, my God. Briones with a magical shot. He has a total of six points in the game. Four in the fourth quarter. And don't look now. It's just a six-point lead. Ali Peak. Patuko Hirodi Santos. Kenny Evans, he needs to John Arrigo. And he may have stepped on the line. No complaints for the Alaska bench. It happened right in front of them. Too many errors. Now Durandes is checking back in for John Arrigo. Here's Briones in action. Up and under move. Tough shot. Lapa to defensa. And Luel Briones was showing a lot of moves here. Ganyan naman nakilala si Briones yung unang nagpasimula yan dito sa PBA. Had an impressive debut with Moby Line, pero medyo nawala siya ng konti. Here he comes again behind. Oh, reverse layup for Lowell Briones. Six points of his eight coming in the fourth. And he has sparked this Red Bull Thunder rally. The Thunder down by four with 5.16 remaining. We'll be back sa inyong Bayan of Superstars. Si Rodney Santos, si Ali Peak. At... Nabura ang lamang ng Alaska Milk. Kinito, it's down to just a four-point lead. Although ngayon, ipinalik na si Dorende, si uh, Rodney Santos, at si Ali Pick. Pero mukhang uh, nandun ang momentum sa kabilang dako. Dako, oh, kumama oh, bola oh, sa pa pa ni Kenny Evans. Kenny Evans. So, one turnover after the other. Ito ang sinasabi natin, no? Yung turnover situation ng Alaska, no? That's going to be, uh, that has proved to be the pain of Alaska. No? Too many turnovers here in the fourth quarter. Alaska with a total of 14 turnovers already in this game. He ended up the half with eight. Agustin, nahanap si Briones. They know this matchup favors Briones. Lapat ni Kenny Evans. Here's Lowell. There's a fourth foul. Lapat ni Kenny Evans. And Evans will pick up his third foul now. Well, Evans is uh, known as a defensive stopper. Kanya ang inasign sa kanya. Ito si Briones. At si Briones ngayon ang tumatao sa kanya. Oh, si Kenneth Durendes. Durendes. So, nag-iba na naman ang defensive uh, adjustment dito. Backdoor oh. play, Briones oh, yes. again! Let's score 10 points. 8 points here in the fourth quarter. 10 overall. And the lead is down to 2. What a surprise package by Yang Giao. And Briones has stepped up here. In the absence of Mick Kinesi. Tapik! Oh, no! no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bad pass by Kenny Evans. Here's Balikwena and there's a foul by Evans. Turnover after turnover here. Uh, Papasok na yata si Eric Reyes, so they need a defender to go up against 
Briones. The smiles are gone oh. on the faces of Tim Cohn and Luigi Trillo. Backdoor play, Briones ang nagdadala ng sakit at pait. Getting a backdoor play off Kenneth Duremnes. And what a ball game for Noel Briones. Alam mo, indepensa din ang Red Bull at step up dito sa fourth period. It's not that uh, Alaska is just throwing away the ball. It's the defense of Red Bull that's creating itong mga turnovers. Plaguing Alaska. And Kenny Evans has to be taken out, partner. One error after another. Mm -hmm. Kanina nakita natin si John Arico. Ganun din. Valenzuela missing his first free throw. Pangalawa niya, malakas pa rin. Rebound ni Kenneth Dorendo. So hindi nila naitabla ang talaan. Big break for Alaska. Yes. Here's Aliado. Triangle formation. Dorendez. He had a hot hand kanina. And there's a reaching foul. Against the Von Harp. Ang apat na yan ni Von Harp. Remember, he is playing almost by himself. Dahil wala nga yung parta niya si Mick Pinisi. He suffered a... An injury in the first quarter of this game. 14 seconds. 4:15 on the remaining. At 14 fouls now for uh, Batang Red Bull. Yung Alaska is already in the penalty. Nakasubukan ng free throws dito. Samantala si Ali Pink. Sinaw sao na. Double team. Pasa niya sa labas. Inigot kito rente sa kanto. Mainit pa rin. Si Captain Marvel. 22 in the game for Kenneth Torrentes. Counts as a little cold water on this rally of Red Bull. Back to a four-point lead for the Aces, 70 to 66. Valenzuela makes the shot. No, a big rebound. Grab and pick up by Aliado. Talasik si Briones, and the pass comes loose. Briones, quick move, gives it to Devon Harp, and there's a foul by Eric Reyes. Kawagan na ni Eric Reyes, and he didn't want to give up that layup. Number ten, Eric Reyes. And Devon Harp will be tested from the line again. Itong uh, larong ito has picked up. Patang Red Bull getting the spark from Lowell Briones. Former fifth, fifth overall pick of Purefoots back in 97. Tagad na trade sa Mobiline. He played 15 games in 97 for Mobiline. Then moved over to Santa Lucia. But bago siya lumipat doon sa NBA. And now, nagpabalik si Lowell Briones. And Devon Harp missing the ring. Well, Parker, what's the reason for Bakit Pantian si Eric Reyes? No? He gave up that foul because scoring position si Devon Harp, but he knows that Devon Harp is not a good free throw shooter. He's one out of five in this game. And you have to credit Eric Reyes for that smart play. The rookie of the year last year, Devon Harp. Yeah, nang sayo. Hindi ganyan ang ball defectos. So, <laughs> well, that's an improvement. Wala tinamaan. Yes. Kundi yung backward. Three-point ball game. Three and a half remaining. Blocking foul. Lapat kaya to And quickly he's picked up by his teammates. Agustin will pick up only his first foul. Nasa penalty na yun na Red Bull. That'll put them... Oh, nasa penalty. With 3.24 remaining. What a game. Akala natin, ano eh, magkakatulugan eh. Dahil lumaki ang lamang kanina sa 13. At parang ang Alaska dominated already. Here's the Rentes. Wala. Ibaan ni Devon Hart. Quickly, remoto pero mahina ang pasa. Tumatakpo si Burley. They had the right idea. Just couldn't execute well. Here's Ali Peek. Pinubula po ni Briones. Eddie Reyes. Two-man game on the left side. Ali Peek turns around. No. Rebound. Oh, nice rebound by Don Aliado. Yeng Yao shaking his head. Nasa likod siya, no? Ni Kirby Raimundo, nakuha pa ni Don Aliado, yung offensive rebound. Yun ang diferensya ng Pinisi at saka ni Raimundo. Yes. That's why they're missing Pinisi so much in this game. Tira sa labas ni Eric Reyes. No. Ball will be saved by Ali Peek. Another offensive opportunity dito para sa Alaska. Time is down to 2 and 35. Don Emnes, pinahanap si Rodney Santos against Agustin. 11 seconds, sa kanila shot clock, nice move, gets away from his man. Wala pa rin! Rebound! Woo! He has it finally! Valenzuela picks up the loose ball. Narito si Agustin. Dilabas ki Valenzuela, open shot! That will drop out, and there's a body flying here, and a loose ball foul. Lamag ki Rodney. They are in the penalty, that'll send Ato Agustin to the line. Fourth foul on the slasher. And Tim Cohn cannot believe it. He had about 
Four opportunities to score. He did not. However, lamang pala sila na We'll be back. Nagabi sa inyo lahat mga kaibigan Welcome sa inyong Bayan ng Superstars Yan ang ating Quick Tight Story Brought to you by Quick Tight The all-in-one glue technology by Loctite What Alaska has failed to do in the last 6 minutes So score Apat na puntos lamang kinito And right now Yung lamang nila kaninang 13 puntos Natakyos na lamang sa taplo May dalawa pang free throw si Ato Agustin Talagang scoring grab ito no? for uh, Alaska. Kanina, they have already scored 63 points with about 10 minutes to go. Yes. This is quite a lot. Eh? And here's Ato Agustin. Pumutok doon ito si Ato rito. Ah. Yes. yes, that's true. Agustin has said the uh, up and down conference so far is averaging 6 points lamang. Playing 24 minutes. But today, he has uh, provided uh, Coach Yeng Gya with a total of 14. Make that 15 already. So siya at si Lowell Briones Firing in Yes Red Bull Isa na lang alamang Isa na lang Walang kukurap Hindi pa po tapos ang boxing 70 to 69 Isa na lang mga kapante ng Alaska As we enter winning time Sa Bayana Superstars As we miss Malakas ang tira Malakas ang tira Alado sir for the offensive rebound Ang lakas ng offensive rebounding ngayon ng uh, Alaska without Nick Pinisi to contend for Aliado. those rebounds. Well, Aliado has three offensive rebounds, eight boards today. And it goes in! The ball on the pitoran! Here's Lamar Briones. Three on two. Briones will go up, drops it over! Bad pass by Briones. Panira na, ipinasa pa. A minute and 27 remaining. Alley Peak, Lapa Kid Devon Hart, standing his ground. And the coaching staff of Baba Red Bull up on their feet. It's one turnover after the other, partner. Yes. A minute and seven seconds remaining here. Dorandes goes up. Mr. a one point lead for Alaska. 72 to 71. Durandes with 24 in the game. We let the ball out of timeout. Deeper, partner. They're saving the timeouts. Here's Agustin. We not up to the one hurt. Harper is back to the basket. That's where he likes the ball. Balik sao. Sabi niya po. Balik naman sao. Agustin takes the jump shot. No. Ayala with a big rebound. Nine boards today. 36 seconds to go. Dorandes, no timeouts being called. Laban ki Judy Valenzuela. There's the pick. Dorandes goes up. All the way on the right. The left down. Dorandes. Briones picks up the loose ball. He's running. A lot of red shirts there. Briones zigzagging. Drops it up to the board. Hart. Keep up play. Agustin. 14 seconds to go. Here's Hart. With the left down. Yes! The ball up. Gives Red Bull a one-point lead. And they're celebrating on that side. But this is not yet over. 11 seconds before that point natin. Alaska calling a timeout. For the game, Agao, Nilo Will, Briones, Eric Reyes, you've just seen a CMG swipe of the game from CMG, your provider of life insurance, pension, education plans, and the CMG health swipe card. Well, partner, this is the fourth period. Rodney Santos, blank. Yes. Ali P, blank. Nako. Torrentes has taken over the scoring. Chores dito para sa Alaska, partner, pero talaga nahihirapan siya kung siya lang ang nakaka-score. Siya na lamang ang, ang gumagawa ng puntos dito. 8 points for the Remdes in the 4th quarter, 24 in the game. But Ali Pig has stopped scoring 16, all made in the first 3. Reyes, or rather Rodrix, Rodney Santos has 12 points and he has stopped scoring as well. And you know, you have to credit Devon Harp, he's played offense and he's had to play Ali Pig and he has done magnificent on both ends of the floor. Exactly, partner. Pero ito, pagkakataon nito ng Alaska, to be able to put this game away. Both teams in the penalty. Ang Alaska trying to take this one. Look at the game reset. A lot of timeouts to be called. You know what we were No, We were wondering why timeouts weren't being called. This game was just going on. Adami pa nilang mga timeouts. Statistics brought to you by QuickTime. The all-in-one blue technology by Loctite. Delay of the game here by Jay Mendoza. Warning laban sa batang Red Bull Thunder with 11.3 seconds to go. At ang pinasok ni Coach Pintone, si John Arrigo. 
Arrigo is in the game. That Here's Alley Creek. offensive option, another weapon. Watch the time. Alaska trying to steal this one. Rodney Santos, he has not scored in the quarter. For the win. No. Woo! Red Bull escaping with a one-point win of a last shot by Devon Hartman, a miss by Rodney Santos. And the Thunder extend their winning streak to three. Alaska dropping their third straight. Kinito, what a game. Unbelievable, partner, because this was Alaska's game for the taking, partner. No? The big in the fourth period, I thought it was a matter of pacing. And our Viva Mineral Water best player of the game, no other than Devon Harp. He had the winning shot today, but more important, his statistics have been incredible. He carried the load in the absence of Mick Finisi, Kinito. Well, talagang uh, incredible comeback dito for uh, Red Bull, no? Actually, it was Red Bull who stole the game from Alaska because this should have been Alaska's game, pero ang pinakita nila ng depensa dito sa fourth period was exquisite. Totoo yan. At pinigil nila si Rodney Santos, blanked in the fourth period, napigil din nila si Ali Pick, also silence in the fourth period. Samantala, again, ang ating Viva Mineral Water best player of the game, Devon Harp. Total of 20 points today for Harp. In the meantime, ating Vulcasil, Tapal, king of the game. Well, si Mick Pinisi. Mick Pinisi, bagamat hindi na siya nakapaglaro after the first quarter, had two shot blocks. And he is our Vulcasil, Tapal, king of the game. Yan po si Mick Pinisi. Only played about... Eight minutes in this game, pero dalawang sapal pa rin na nakuha. And what patience, Pinisi. what patience partner ang pinakita ng uh, Red Bull? Ulitin lang natin ang ating Viva <laughs> Mineral Water best player of the game. I see Devon Harp. 20 points, 10 rebounds for Harp. And great defense on Ali Peak. Exactly, limiting Ali Peak to 16 points. Again, Red Bull coming up with a defense, limiting Alaska to only 71 points. They limit their opponents to about 70, and which is really their... Forte. Yes, uh, actually, what we said to our trend watch no, was uh, for Alaska to be held to 78. Well, they were able to score one over 70, but not enough for them to win. Coming right up, our main game today, Pure Foods. Laman sa Pop Cola Panthers. Sangala po ni Kinito Henson, our director, Don Kapintuyan, and the rest of the hardworking men and women of Viva Vintage. Ito po si Noli Yala. Thank you for joining us in the first game. Yan ang ating final score. The Thunder win it by one. Antabayanan niyo po ang ating main game sa Bayan ng Superstars.